and heavyweights with a story we all love is Richard Towers. Now, unbeaten and unbroken. He's had 10, won them all, and eight ended quick. He also turned his life around after serving seven years, I think. He faced a lot of hard times, solitary, lockdown, all that kind of stuff. Now, he fights for pay under Brendan Ingle's gentle and quite brilliant guidance. He fights on Saturday on Kell Brook's undercard. It's a delight to welcome him back. Big Richard, how are you? Hi, Steve. How are you going? Nice to yeah. see nice you again. Listen, pl- pleasure to have you on. Sorry we're a bit late calling you. Cheers, now, Richard, oh, right. you're fighting a guy here who, I mean, Love Morin Do's a tough guy who Kell Brook's fighting. This guy, <laughs> this guy's equally as tough. He's been beaten 21 times, mostly by really good fighters like Enzo Mack, Marco Huck, David Hay. But yeah. he's only been stopped once. He's a t- You look like you're going to get eight rounds minimum or six or whatever it is. Oh, well, that's what I want, Steve. Of course it is. Um, you know, that's the best case scenario for me, you know. Basically, I've uh, put a good, good, good few weeks of training in, you know, and, uh, well, should I, say, should I say months of training? Yeah. Um, and basically, I'm feeling tip-top condition. So, why yeah, not eight rounds, you know, I'm going to, I get to exercise a few things I've been practicing on it, we've been working on it, Jim. So, all is good. I'm looking to perform, do, do the thing. Yeah. Now, Rich, a lot has been made about yeah. you, about your past, and understandably so, yeah. because you can't spend seven years in prison, then turn professional, and expect people not to not to talk not to talk, not about, to talk it. about it. Yeah. No, I mean you, you you can't. I mean, and you you under, oh, you you, you, you you understand that now. Uh, Rich, I know that Brendan always does this thing where he takes his fighters back into prisons to do exhibitions. Yeah. Have you actually been on one of those? <laughs> We've done that a few times. How mad is that, Rich? It's, it's really mad considering <laughs> when we go in there, all the prisoners seem to recognise me. They're <laughs> like, what, what are you doing here? You know, um, it's a little bit strange, you know, walking back in and it's a little bit upsetting when I have to walk back out. You know, I'm not, I'm not in any way saying that I'm not glad to walk back out. I'm just but... saying that I know how they feel. Um, seeing me walk out and they have to stay in there because I've been in that position. So basically, um, we've got a, I think it's um, Doncaster prison we're going to, yeah. uh, and then we're going to uh, another few prisons. We've got got a good few bookings. And good, it's few all good, bu- like, uh, good few bookings. <laughs> Yeah, I've been inside Doncaster with uh, with um, with Naz and Johnny Nelson and Ryan many many years ago. Yeah, Rich, yeah, it was, it's, it, as you say, it's bizarre. Uh, especially yeah. as you, you spar with the prisoners, but the rules are you can't hit the prisoners, but they can I try and hit, hit you. Back. Yeah, and I swear to you, Steve, you I'm not making this up. I remember having a little bit of an altercation with a fella a few years ago. I can't even remember what it was over. Yeah. I think it was just over weight. So you, you were a little bit upset that I picked his weight up by accident or something. This was in prison, so, yeah. Yeah, this was in prison. So we've gone um, to, I think it was Everthorpe. Um, Catsy, obviously, we was in Cat 8 at the time. Yeah. Um, and this kid recognised me. And I've gone over and shook his hand, like, in a peacemaking way, you know, just to say, no no harm done, you know. Yeah. No hard feelings, what have you. And he shook my hand. And then Brendan says, right, I'll give anybody 50 quid if you can knock the big fella down. <laughs> so this fella jumped straight up. <laughs> He obviously, didn't, he didn't get the chance to do it while I was inside. You know, I'm not, I can't remember the circumstances, but um, I think we left on bad terms. But he uh, slipped the gloves on before I could even blink, and he's swinging punches after me, trying to take my head off. But, you know, it, but it's all good because it's it's all it's all part of Brendan's method behind the madness type thing. Oh, and there is method behind the madness. Oh, listen, oh, Rich, uh, 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 listen, yeah. th- this kid uh, at the weekend, uh, Abdul, you've got to keep the pressure on him, you know, that he's not like he's not like some of right. those Latvians and stuff who will fall over. This yeah. guy, if you start to slow down after three or four rounds, he's he'll gonna... pick it up, you know that, don't you? Definitely, yeah, that's, well, that's it. What, I've, what I know of him, um, I'm very limited in my experience, as you know, Steve, course, but... Course. Um, I don't consider myself stupid and I'm not underestimating anybody in this game. You know, I'm, I'm taking this fully serious. And um, basically, I know that I've got to uh, let this kid know that I'm there. And one thing I can promise is that he's going to know he's been in a fight anyway. And just and just to confirm that when Brendan offered that 50 quid, the guy who'd had the altercation with a few years earlier in the weight he, he, did, he didn't knock you out, did he? <laughs> no. Thank God no, for that. He, well, he tripped me up. He tripped me up. <laughs> did he get 25 quid for that? <laughs> no, well, um, I was all in favour for giving him 25 quid for getting me on floor, and everybody's like, now he wants some money for tripping him up. Oh. And it all it all ended in good spirits. So. Oh, and, and, he, and he's probably your friend now. Listen, Richard, it's yeah. always a pleasure to talk to you. It's inspiring. I'll speak to you again very Thank soon. You, and g- Good luck and keep your head keep your head sensible. Thank you very much. Saturday night. See you, Richard.
Big Richard Towers there, and, and if he, he's boxing on Sky, um, hopefully they'll have him on. I'll tell you what, he's a nice fella. Served seven years, serve a 13-year sentence for um, kidnapping and um, sorted him, sorted his life out. Absolutely, I like him a lot. Now... Uh